Hey there, YouTubers. So we're looking at the world's cheapest 10th gen Intel motherboard. Now, some people might actually find this is a gold mine. Others like myself think this is the worst motherboard out there. And it's due to the lack of features that it has. And, you know, having this, this channel I'm, uh, and my other channels, I'm kind of spoiled with all the gear I have. But, uh, Let's take a look at this, and we'll go uh, actually Google this and see what the website says. But, you know, just overall looking at it here without looking at the website, things that I note, you know, this actually isn't that bad that they do a 1 by 8 here. Sometimes the real super cheap boards like the H310s, they would only have a 1 by 4 in here. Um, not that you can overclock on this, but when you set power limits two unlimited it's uh you know obviously can make a difference one by four versus one by eight now it's got you know limited ram here which most of us doesn't really matter most of you only need about 16 gigs for gaming uh, i think this is limited to 32 gigs overall could be wrong but you know for most people that's that's more than enough atx power Here's your USB 3.0. I believe this is USB 2.0. SATA 3, four of those. This may be HD audio. I'm not really sure. Somewhere in here is HD audio, probably. These are your front panel connectors. You can put in, um, obviously, graphics card, so PCI 3.0 by 16. And then you've got a uh, one, one inch slot here, right? So this will allow you to uh, put Wi-Fi on this board, right? If you get uh, an expansion card that has it. You will not be able to, though, uh, get the expansion card, at least the, one that I, the ones that I have, to add an M.2 here, okay? So that's the main thing about this that makes me absolutely hate this motherboard. There is no M.2. Now, if you were to buy a processor that has integrated graphics and that's really all you wanted to go with, you could uh, get one of those expansion cards and actually I'm M.2 and this thing would boot up super quick, right? Otherwise, you are, you know, basically SATA SSD or a SATA hard drive is the way to go with this, but... SATA SSDs aren't too bad. I would definitely prefer M.2 here. So that's that's what kind of really kills this. Uh, makes it super cheap. Now, a lot of other stuff, you know, obviously missing off of it. This is your complete bare bones. Now, connectors. Some of you might like these connectors. Others of us uh, not fans, okay? Here's the standard stuff here. The bare minimum, right? You only get two USB 3.0s and two USB 2.0s, that's, that's just not going to work for somebody like myself. Um, oh, excuse me, there's four. So, four USB 2.0s and two USB 3.0s. Maybe I could get by on that, I don't know, probably not. Ethernet. Now, some of you love the PS2, old PS2 style connectors. Yours truly thinks it's a waste of space on here. I wish there was something else here. HDMI. So this makes me happy, right? That connector. Uh, this connector does not. Um, and then DVI Dual. While I have monitors, obviously, that take that, I would rather have seen DisplayPort. Um, you know, for something so basic like this that whoever buys this possibly is not going to buy a graphics card with it. Or maybe they're going to buy a low-end graphics card. So, let's go and look at the website and see if there's anything else that I missed. Now, like I said, that's, you know, this is a deal, right? So, those of you that are looking for a bargain, you may find it here. All right, so things I didn't talk about. This, you know, since this is H410, right? H410, B460, 
H470 that only support RAM up to this speed and that's with an i7 or i9 okay when you say RAM up to this speed you can put faster RAM in here what on the label says it's faster and hopefully get it to run at 2933 now sometimes these motherboards don't have the XMP right so uh, it's one of those things where you got to mess around in your BIOS and understand what you're doing to get the max speed. So take, for instance, my Patriot 4133 megahertz RAM. Its base speed is 2133. If I were to put that in here, most likely it would run 2133 right off the bat. Now, since I haven't seen whether there's XMP in here, because I don't actually own this motherboard, um... If there's no XMP, then you have to, you know, try and dial in the 2933. Um, and if you hit the XMP button, you're still going to have to dial it into 2933. So that's the way that goes. Now, 5 power five power phase design. So you hear a lot of, you know, bigger numbers for this. And this is a motherboard you're going to want to use a locked CPU, right? So you are not going to want to get a i9 90 or excuse me i9 10 900k in here uh, at best you would want to use an i9 10 900 so that you know they really don't have a lot to talk about with this it's pretty sad pretty sad folks specifications i'm going to see if there's anything else in here So these are all your different, you know, basically these could all be different base speeds. You can buy RAM that's set to 2933, but most of you have, you know, RAM like this, right? And if you're going to buy an i5 or below, you'll go with that. So it says it supports XMP 2.0, so that's good. Now, I've seen this, though, and it doesn't actually have it. Uh, one of the other motherboards I have by ASRock, it's not in there. So that one was false advertising. Now I may eventually get this motherboard in here just to uh, be able to see what you get for your money. So the only problem is right now I don't have a uh, hard drive or solid state drive with me. <laughs> Uh, it's kind of funny you go, well, I don't really use these anymore. So I'm on the road traveling. And I don't bring it with me. Alright, so this is garbage. Let's see. So those of you, this is kind of a learning experience. You go to support, you can find out your CPUs that are supported. And you can see that they say you can put a K processor in here. Now, the other questions is... Uh, you know, will you be able to get a big CPU cooler on here? Yes, you will. But you're not going to overclock it. Um, you can do a base frequency or base clock frequency type uh, overclock, which is, you know, different. So here are all of your CPUs. And you can see everything that uh, the normal boards I buy is on here. Now you will see over here in this column... If you get this and it doesn't have an updated BIOS, it might not run without the updated BIOS. Case in point, this i9 that came out after the fact, you need this version of the BIOS. And it may ship with P1.00 or 1.10. So let's actually look at the BIOS and see what they list. Yeah, 1.0. So if you get this with the old one, you may not be able to run it. You might have to flash it with a... Uh, you might have to go back and buy a super cheap Celeron chip and uh, update the BIOS. That's what I recommend with my other videos. All right, so here is... We've looked at the CPUs. This is what they're up to for BIOS. And they're, you know, updating this. It's been a couple months. This is probably not their favorite motherboard. 
Can you imagine being on the Ass Rock team and you got stuck on this spot motherboard? How highly disappointed you'd be. It's like, you know, there's the A team doing the, the good stuff and then not even the B team. This is like the the guys that they wanting to get rid of are working on this one. Memory. So you see here, you can put this faster RAM in here, but this is what it's going to run at, okay? That is the RAM speed. Storage, they list out different storage devices. And then if you go into downloads, this is all the stuff you have here. So surprisingly, this does support polychrome RGB. I didn't even really notice any addressable LEDs on there, so I'm not sure how this thing's connected to do it, but that's another story. But there you go, folks. That's what you get for your... Uh, that's not even the right one. That's not the right one. That's not the right one. You can say I've been looking at some other boards. I'm doing some shopping. That's what you get for your 5699. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.